audio is a very important part of your video and you have to make sure that your audio is sounding great hey guys this is james and welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial we're going to learn how you can use 10 band 20 band and 30 band equalizer effect to edit your audio in adobe premiere pro so what is a equalizer is suppose when you are recording a audio a voiceover maybe the sound is not perfect maybe the lower end of your sound is a little bit muddy sometimes the higher pitch of a voice may be crank up a lot so it will not sound great you have to lower the volume of that higher pitch sound right so that is the purpose of using a equalizer today we are going to learn three different equalizer that you can use in adobe premiere pro personally i don't use this equalizer i use parametric equalizer but let's learn how you can use this 10 band 20 band 30 band equalizer in adobe premiere pro this is a sample clip if i play it back audio is a very important part of your video so you have to make sure well let's apply 10 band equalizer effect first here on this audio let's go to effects panel here you'll see effects panel if you don't see go to windows to enable effects panel and effects control panel from effects panel we're going to apply the effects and from the effects control panel which is this one we are going to control that effect so let's go here on this audio effects folder and from there filter eq this one and there you'll see three different equalizer which is graphic equalizer 10 band 20 band and 30 band let's apply this one which is the 10 band equalizer first on top of your audio clip now let's go to effects control panel to control that audio effect here you'll see graphic equalizer 10 bands and from there you can edit the properties of this effect let's click here on this edit section and there you'll see a equalizer which is very similar if, if you're lucky enough to see the old tape player there we always used to adjust the base the trivial of our audio using equalizer that was a physical equalizer but here we are going to simulate that thing using the software based equalizer right so first there are some presets that you can use uh, this one high pass filter so it is just cutting the lower frequency of your audio again low pass filter that will do the opposite so why does this effect called 10 band equalizer because the audio spectrum here is divided into 10 different part right so if i count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you can see 10 different band is here and each band is divided into frequency so the first one is 31 and greater than the frequency from 31 so 0 to 31 is the first band second one 31 to 63 again 63 to 1 to 5 so here we can see the last one is 16000 hertz to 20 hertz which is the audible frequency of audio right so if you want to increase the base of your audio what you can do you can just increase this one from 500 to 31 hertz right so if i play it back audio is Normal. a very important if part of your it. video so you have to make sure your audio is sounding great hey guys this is james and welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial today we're going to learn how so you can see the base response of my audio is increasing because we have increased the lower frequency volume here using this equalizer effect right so if i just disable it and hear it again this is without the effect audio is a very important part of your video so you have, you have, and this is applying the effect audio is a very important part of your videos so we are not going to use a lot of bass here because already the audio is very bass heavy what you can do you can just click vocal present boost that will increase the 2000 kilohertz range a little bit so if i play it back audio is a very important part a little of bit here if you want to increase the trivial section a bit you can increase this one this one a little bit so video so you have to make sure if i play it without the effect audio is a very important part and this is applying the effect audio is a very important part of your video so we have added some clarity here on this audio so that is the basic of using this 10 bat equalizer in adobe premiere pro also you can adjust the range if you change the range you can see the increment have been changed so if you want to have less range then you can decrease it if you want to have more range you can increase it and then you can just edit the audio using that feature 
and again you can change the accuracy points and the gain if you want to add gain on your audio you can increase it from here so you have to make sure your audio is sounding great hey guys this is james and so, that is a great feature in case if you want to add some gain on your audio so that's it that is for 10 band equalizer 20 band and 30 band equalizer work just similar like this 10 band equalizer if i apply this one 20 band then if i go here you will see same effect everything is very similar but here we will get 10 more bands right so here you can see the bands have been divided into more sections so if you want to edit precisely you can use that and the process is similar there are some presets that you can use so maybe this one or maybe you want to use this one so if i play it back audio is a very important part of the your... audio have been changed right again let's delete this one and apply the third one which is third event graphic equalizer if i click and drag it here and then go to edit you will get 10 more bands so in total here there are 30 bands to choose from you will have more precise control if you edit the audio using this 30 band equalizer but for me i don't like this one because a whole lot of bands that i have to deal with i don't like it that is the reason i use parametric equalizer if i just show you for a glance here is the parametric equalizer so the basic is very simple but here i'll get more control i'll show you how you can use parametric equalizer later on this series very soon so that is all for today i hope you have liked that if you have liked that you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then Goodbye.